And then the third one was to keep his commandments. You know, I used to wonder, what are his commandments so that I can keep them? I mean, I know what the Ten Commandments are, but they said there's such a huge list of them. How can I possibly know them and walk in them? But Jesus told us, he said in Matthew 22 and verse 36 to 40, he puts it in a nutshell for us to make it easy so that we don't have to think our poor brains can't comprehend everything that we're supposed to be doing. In Matthew chapter 22 and verse 36. He was asked this question, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And then Jesus said to this um, one who was asking him the question, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. It begins with loving God, with all of our being. And to me it's like a circle. God is love and he loves us and we love him because he loves us. And it goes round and round and round. Yeah. God loves us because he is love and we love him because we desire to be like him and to do what pleases him. It's his love for us and our love for him. And we need his commandments to walk in his ways. How can you walk in his ways if you don't know what his ways are? Jesus knew and he's our example to follow. You know, when Satan tempted him in the wilderness to turn the stones into bread, he replied, by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So what does that remind you of again? ATW, wasn't it? At thy word. Jesus knew the word. But Jesus is the living word. And he also knew the written word. And in a time of great trial, he was able to walk in the way of the Lord because he knew the commandments of the Lord. You know, we're so blessed to freely have multiple copies of his written word. So why should I know his commandments? Why is it important to know them? Well, the more we read and absorb it, the more our love for the author will grow and the greater will be our desire to walk in his ways. That is, to keep his commandments. 